Well, we can start here in a couple minutes. All right, let's go ahead and line up, please. Ms. Green, Ms. Natalie, uh, Mrs. Gaska here. Ms. Virginia, I'm going to put you right here. Okay, Ms. Let's do, uh, Mr. Jason, Sabina, Mr. Brandon. Front row, one step back, please. One step back. Um, second row on the back line here. So. Well, actually, let's do this. Um, Brandon, next row, please. Let's have you two scoot down. Mr. Giles right up here. You guys scoot down. Brandon in the back. And scoot down this way just a little bit. You're fine there, Mr. Hammer. Mr. No, you're going to be kind of in the center here. Right there. You're fine there. Mr. Francisco Jr. here. All right, from here, face flags. Hit it. And come in. Face me, please. Hit it. Let's warm it up a little bit. Hands in the hips. Rotate your neck side to side. Hana. Do Set. Net. That's it. That's it. Here go. You die. I hope. Yo. Up and down. Hana. Do Set. Net. That's it. That's it. Here we go. You die. I hope. Yo. Rotate your hips. Hana. Do Set. Net. That's hot. It's hot. Here we go. You die. I hope. Yay. Other way. Hana. Do Set. Net. That's hot. It's hot. Here we go. You die. I hope. Yay. 
Feet together, hands on your knees, rotate your knees. Hana. Three. Set. Net. Set. Set. Here go. You die. I hope. Yay. Other way. Hana. Three. Set. Net. Set. You set. You go. You die. I hope. Yay. Spread those feet two shoulders apart. Face right. Touch your head to your leg and hold. Hand up. Three. Set. Net. I set. You set. You go. You die. I hope. Yay. And up, other side. Same thing. Hana. Three. Set. Net. A set. You set. You go. You die. A hope. Yay. And up this time to the middle. Try and get your elbows down. Hana. Three. Set. Net. A set. You set. You go. You die. I hope. Yay. And uh, good. All right. From here, keep facing left. Bend your right knee. Keep your left leg straight. Sit down as far as you can. Hana. Three. Set. Net. That's it. That's it. Here we go. You die. I hope. Yay. And up, other side. Same thing. Hana. Three. Set. Net. That's it. You set. Here we go. You die. I hope. Yay. And uh, good. Sit down, legs open up as wide as you can. From here, reach out, grab both feet, and then lean forward. Keep those knees straight. Hana. Three. Set. Net. Set. Set. Here we go. You die. I hope. Yay. And uh, feet together, legs straight out in front. Reach forward, touch your toes. Hana. Three. Set. Net. Set. Set. Here we go. You die. I hope. Yay. And up, uh, bottoms of the feet together, butterfly stretch. Hana. Three. Set. Net. Set. You set. Here we go. You die. I hope. Yay. And uh, good. All right, stand up, turn around and face your toe box. Shake out the legs just a little bit. So today, as we do our kicks, no snap. Okay, all we're working on is extension. Okay, so we're going to start with the front kick motion. So you're going to bring the knee up. You're going to slowly extend out so that your knee is completely straight. Then you'll bring it in and you'll bring it down. Okay, so you're just going to practice on your own. Just going to hear two, three, four. No snap. There should be no snap. All right, what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop muscle control. Okay, the hip flexor that helps us to lift our knee has to be strong in order for you to be able to kick higher. All right, as black belts, the expectation is we should all be able to kick at least face level. All right. So it's a combination of not only stretching that you have to work on, you also have to work on the control of the kick itself. 
it's easy to kick high if you lean and do all this, but it doesn't ever look good, right? It looks sloppy. So we want to work the proper technique. So make sure, just work on getting that knee up as high as you can, extend it out and retract, keeping that knee in that same position, all right? So I'm going to start the timer. You're just going to practice front kicks, alternating legs, or if you want to do the same leg multiple times, you can. All right, it's up to you. Ready? Okay, she duck. Extension, right? Just slowly out. Just imagine yourself being videoed right now and you're doing everything in slow motion. The video is in slow motion. So your motion is slow. Everything is slow. The knee up is slow. The extension is slow, making sure the knee is locked out. The retraction is slow and down. Okay. If you go fast, that means, right, we have to work on balance and we have to work on a little bit of control. So don't worry about kicking high. If you can kick high, great. All right. Okay. Try to be able to hold it out for a second or two before you pull it back in. <laughs> This requires all of your muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, right? All the muscles in your leg, even your calf muscles. Remember the front kick, right? You need to be in that tippy toe position, right? You have to push the ankle forward, curl your toes back, right? That's the position we want to be. Don't worry about pivoting at all. Yeah, we're just working control here. So just work on the balance and the control piece. All right. Especially if you have bad balance. If, you don't, if your balance isn't that good, then don't pivot. If you have good balance, you can pivot all you want. Foot position is key. Slow. Too fast. Control. Too fast. Control. All right, slow motion. Okay. The slower you do it, the better, right? The more work your, your muscles in your legs are doing. Hey, be careful. Don't do that. Don't do that with your pinky toe, All right? Because if that gets caught in my uniform, your pinky toe is going to go sideways, All right? Okay, that's where you want to keep them together. I have tape if you need tape, all right? Some of you guys have bad, right? you need to buddy tape your toes. <laughs> so. All right, keep going. All right. If you're having a hard time breathing with your mask, go ahead and bring it down underneath your nose and you can breathe that way. That's fine. See, no balance, Mr. Noah. All right. See, your foot position is not good. All right. You're doing your kick like this. It needs to be this. If you're having a hard time getting that foot position, start with the back heel up and then keep your knee up, right? And keeping the ankle in that same position. All right. Proper technique will give you effective kicks. All right. Too fast, Mr. Francisco Jr. All right. Yeah, we're gonna need to buddy tape your feet, Mr. Hammer. <laughs> You're gonna lose a big toe. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, you shouldn't have been running. That's what they built cars for. All right. No need to run 20 miles. You got a car that'll take you 20 miles. Yeah, <laughs> right? Exactly. Keep going. 40 seconds. <laughs> I know, right? right yes. No, that's better. Yeah, that's that's the position we want. 
So you have to be able, as a black belt, you have to be able to maneuver your ankle and your toes and do what it needs to. Foot positioning is so important, especially when you're making contact on target. So when you start kicking the bag, the heavy bag and so forth, if you don't kick it right, you're going to hurt yourself. That's why it's important to get this correct. All right, relax, shake it out, walk it out. You might feel a little burn, a little tightness in the butt area. If you're doing that, that's good. All right. All right, so the next one, we're just going to do it with the front leg. Just lift your knee sideways here and extend here too. This one is really going to work your glute. You're going to feel a little tightness here the higher you go. All right. Ready, Shijak? Just do one side, please. All right, and then we'll switch. And then you can put it down each time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to feel it in the hip. So the key is to make sure that the knee stays sideways. All right? And then you extend out, pull it back in, keeping the knee there, and then bring it down. If you really want to work it, then hold the knee up there and do more than one kick at a time. All right, then you'll really feel it. For those of you who are on Facebook, you saw the group post. All right, there's that one lady that's doing the roundhouse kick with control. That's what we're working on. Eventually, you guys will be able to do that, and I'll put you on Facebook. Keep going. One. And why are you bringing it fast? Control it out. And then pull it back. No, it's not a side kick, it's a roundhouse kick. That's Addy. We're doing roundhouse kicks, knees in front. Knees in front. Now see, you're, you can do it one of two ways, right? With the roundhouse kick, you can do it with the instep. The preferred way is the ball of the foot, like your front kick. Okay. Where's your focus, Mr. Noah? All right. It's everywhere but where you're supposed to be, which is your kick. Keep going. About 25 seconds, and then we'll switch legs. These are the two hardest kicks to do slowly, roundhouse kick and front kick. Side kicks are easier to do slowly. But a lot of people... It's the one that they need the most work on, a sidekick. All right, switch legs, other side. Other side wants some love. All right. For most of you guys, this is your non-dominant leg. All right, because of whenever I have you do something initially, you will always go with the side that's easier for you. That's what you'll do first. All right. Well, that's what you gave us in class last week. That's, man. You're out of practice for, you haven't practiced in what, two weeks, three weeks now? Uh-huh, so yeah. So start low and then gradually get it up. Once again, slow extension, right? Slow extension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, don't pull it back quickly, Mr. Dason. Slow extension, slow retraction. It's pretty good, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> How far can you get the big toe up off the ground? Just curious, like when you lift. Okay. Yep. And that's fine. That's fine. I mean, as long as you're doing that, because then that's that's gonna, you know, it's working on that position. Yeah. 
but the 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 muscle yeah there you go that's what we want that's what we want so because there's ways to get around that for hitting with the ball of the foot you know we just angle you a little bit more front kick wise so. keep going 40 seconds left You should talk. You need to do yours too. So, no. hmm? 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 Twenty seconds. So it's all about slow control. <laughs> I'm getting a stare down from Instructor Green over there. I don't know why. I was going to stop, but come on. I was going to stop without any kicks, but maybe I make you guys do side kicks now. No. No. All right, take a break. Get some water. Walk it out a little bit. So when we do pictures and I have you guys do your kicks, then you can hold it there and make it easier for the photographer to get you your high kick. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, there you can go Photoshop it. <laughs> Photoshop your face on someone else's body. That's fine too. <laughs> So these are exercises that you can do on your own, right? Doesn't require you to have a lot of space. Right? You can do these at any time to get better. So, so all right. All right, if you missed last week, all right, you're kind of out of luck. You just have to keep up as best you can. If you're here last week, we're gonna move on to, uh, we're gonna finish out Kwangge. All right, so from here, Chumbi. Remember your open heaven hand stands, right? It's your thumbs and um, pinky, uh, thumbs and fingers, index finger are together, making a diamond upwards. All right, ready? Hana, pull it apart, open up the door, balance into close stance B. Okay. Front stance, slow uppercut motion. Set. Front stance, slow uppercut motion. All right, step in, step out. Net, hooking block, step back. The sun. Yes, sun. Hooking block. Yes, sun. Here we go. Tiger stands or cat stands, double knife hand guarding block. You die. Cat stands, double knife hand guarding block. All right, two steps. Step, step, turn. Scooping block. I hope to the back. And then step forward. Yay. Another side. Just like Cordio. Kia! Double side kick to the left. Hana! One, two, grab, knife hand strike. Do it. Downward hammer fist. Set. To the right, double side kick. Net. That's it. Knife hand strike. Yes, hot. Downward hammer fist. Yes, hot. Left foot forward, pressing block. Right hand down, left hand up. Yes, hot. Right foot forward, pressing block. Right hand down, left hand up. Or excuse me, left hand down, right hand up. Turn to the right, back fist stomp. Hana! Shift into front stance, reinforcement block. Do it. Shift back, down block. Set. All right. Spear thrust strike. Net with the right hand. Stomp to your left. That's it. Side back fist strike. Yes, it. Reinforcement block, too. Set. Shift back, low block. And then net, spear thrust strike. All right. From here now, we're gonna stomp forward, front stance, twin face punch. That's it. You're gonna stomp to your left, front stance, twin upset punch. That's it. We're gonna do a front kick, place it down in front, step forward with your left leg and turn, double knife hand guarding block. So from here, front kick, put it down, step turn, double knife hand guarding block. 
Step forward, upper punch. Yes, up. And then once again, right foot stomps to an upset punch. Yes, up. Front stand. Left leg front kick, put it down. Step forward and turn to the left. Double knife hand guard and block. Step forward with the right leg. Upper punch and key up. Ay -ya! Right foot stays there. Left foot returns to your jumbi position. Your open heaven hand stands. All right. That's the whole thing. Yes. At the end. Yes, two key ups. Okay. All right, so one more time. We'll do the whole thing and then we'll send you on your way. All right, so from here, Kwangge, Jumbe. Hana. Dol. Set. Net. Set. Set. You're good. You're done. I hope. Yay. Hana. Kia. Done. Set. Net. Set. Set. You're good. You're done. So it's a back fist, reinforcement, low block, and spear. Okay, and then same thing, other side. Turn to your left. Ready? Net. That's it. That's it. Here we go. Now the new part. You're done. Hop. Yay. Hana. Dol. Set. Kia. Left foot returns. Puro. All right. Show relax. Go ahead and work on that a little bit on your own. That's the whole thing. It's not a flower budding. It is a door opening. So this particular pumse is the equivalent to Kodio in the ITF realm. As you can see, this is a little bit more complex than Kodio. All right, this is one of three that first degree ITF students will learn, three pumses at Black Belt. As I told you last week, there are 24 ITF pumses, one to represent each hour of the day. What? Nope, the other hand, Mrs. Gaska. So, mm -hmm. yes. Single, single hand. And then again, step forward and again. Step in, step out, hook. Step back, low double knife hand. Same thing again, step in, step out. What? Front kick, step forward and turn. Mm -hmm. Tiger stance, double knife hands, two of them. No, step forward. No, she, because they're in there. 
Step, step, turn, scooping block to the back. And then step forward again. And then here, key up. Yeah, you should work up to there. You guys should work up to there. And we'll go. Front kick, step forward and turn, Mr. Hammer. Put it down, step forward with your right leg and turn. So kick, put it down, step forward and turn. There you go, double knife hand. Double knife hand guarding block. Step forward, high punch and key up. Left foot returns. Yes, ma'am. Yep. <laughs> nope. ITF is exact. They want you in the same spot. So. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Twin face punch, twin stomach punch. Front kick, step forward, turn to your left. Double knife hand. Yep. So you want to make sure after you kick, when you step forward, left foot comes forward and turn. One. Then high punch. Then same thing. Upset punch. Kick. Put it down. Step forward with the right and turn. Step forward, punch and kick. Uh -huh. Front kick, put it down, step forward and turn. Turn to your left. Kick with your right leg. Put it down, step forward with your left leg and turn. One. And then high punch. One. Then stomp. Upset punch. Front kick, put it down, step forward and turn. One. Step forward, high punch and key up. Oh, yeah. Left foot returns. Hana, do you got help? I'm on it too. Oh, I think you're here. Oh, you guys are Hana, do. And then Hana, do. And then two one yo, you get Hana, do. Yeah. I know. You're gonna adjust for fun. You're gonna you go yenada nega you got so Mm -hmm. yep. And then the side. Yes. Now you kick, front kick, put it down, and then step forward and turn. Yep. One. And then high punch. Same thing. One, two, and then high punch and key up. That's it, sir. Left foot returns. 
Flip aside, one, two, grab, yep, two, and then three. Mm -hmm. One, two. No, no, turn to your left, turn to your right, stomp. No, 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 turn to your right. One, two, three, and then spear, four. And then one, two, three, same thing. And then spear, and then new parts, twin stomp, one, two. Front kick, put it down. And then step forward and turn to your left. High punch. Step. No, you got to step high punch. Stomp. Kick. Put it down. Step forward. Turn to your left. No, no, no. One. Put it down. Step forward. And then punch it. Yeah. Did you get your uniforms over to Miss Hyatt? Mrs. Hyatt? No, I haven't actually oh. in my car. Oh, okay. But I told her that it might be easier for me to just like, drop them off to her shop. Yeah, we'll just know. bring them here. <laughs> you have to come back. Uh, if you come tomorrow night, she'll be here. Tomorrow night? Uh -huh. What time does she miss? Six o'clock or seven? Seven. Seven? Okay. Seven o'clock. Okay. Double side, knife hand grab. No, it's a grab. It's a grab. Downward hammer fist. Other hand. No, no, no. You gotta do your pressing blocks. And then stomp back. One, two, three, four. Back fist reinforcement low block. Same, no, front hand, right hand, so one, two, three, right hand. And the other side, do the opposite. Good, sir? You got up? Okay. Step, step, turn. Step forward, step forward, and turn, scoop. Hmm? Scoop. And then scoop. And then your your cordial movement. Key up. Double side to your left. Downward hammer fist. Other side. Double side kick to the right. Grab knife hand. Downward hammer fist. Pressing block. Left foot forward. Pressing block. Right foot forward. Stomp to your right. Back fist. Reinforcement. Low block. Spear thrust. And then back fist, reinforcement block, low block, spear thrust. And then twin face punch, stomp. Turn to your left, yes, uh huh. Turn to your left, stomp, twin upset punch. Or twin uppercut, all right. Front kick, put it down in front, step forward and turn to your left, double knife hand. Step forward, high punch. Same thing now. Stomp here, kick, put it down, step forward and turn. Nope, you wanna. Once you do your front kick, step forward, turn to your right this time. One. Correct, sir. And then step forward, high punch. That's it. Left foot returns. And you should be right back where you started. Mm -hmm. So. So. A little bit more complex than cordial. Just a tiny bit. Lots of turns and lots of in and out movements. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next one, next one you guys will learn is all hand. It's all upper body. Like kind of like kum gang. Just upper body. Hmm? Um there's 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 like a low kick here. Knee strike. Knee kick. Boom. Two. Boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. This one, um, the one I'll teach you is all 
side to side. That's next, Poland. Now, these are a lot of fun, but yeah, they're they're complex. So. Yeah, so step and then turn. Boom. So. Yeah. In essence, yeah, basically, in, yeah, in, yeah, but they're stepping versus a shuffle. Other hand. Yeah. Step in. No, no. This. Yeah. Step back. One. 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 Step back. Two. One. Two. Okay. Show me after that. Shut. Yes, left foot forward. One, two. Remember, step in, step out. One, and back. Step in, step out. One, and back. Then tiger stance, tiger stance. One, two. Yep. Okay, practice up to. Everyone's got it? For the most part? All right. This is just a good to know. One, two, three, and then four. And then one, two, and then kick, put it down, step forward and turn. High punch. And then again, one, two, step forward and turn. And yep, tip. See, if you get it good enough, you can compete as in ITF. You can do ITF, Pumse. Isaiah, you got it? Okay. And put it into action. See if you can block it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Correct, sir. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, sir. And then same thing. Now you got to stomp. And then same same thing. What what you just did on this side. So it's the front kick. One. Nope. So after you do the front kick, put it down, step forward. Yes. Just punch. That's it. Yeah, the symmetry, right? Just remember the symmetry. You, I know, right? You do the same thing from one side to the other. It's not the same. No. No, 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 no. Like I said, it's a lot more complex. A lot more complex, uh, you know? So. So this one is like that. The second one is just linear side to side. The third one is you're going to have angled mo motions too. So here. Yeah. 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 So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tank Sudo has a lot of that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. So you have to think Tank Sudo is a combination of Judo and Taekwondo. So a lot of grappling type of movements, grabs and sweeps and throws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. It's all, it's all practical lower body. Yeah. It's the only time you should be kicking people to the face if they're only on the ground. Yes, sir. Same spot. Mm-hmm. All ITF, you start and finish the same spot. So once again, this is just uh, good to know. Just have fun with it. Maybe maybe you can do this at AAU ITF tournament. Actually, I have to teach you guys sine wave because you guys, you guys can't do it this way. You guys won't score very well. You have to kind of, that motion. 
Yeah, you have to breathe. No, uh, it's it's the breathing. It's it it stems from the ancient Japanese karate. That was that was um you know which was the influence to modern day taekwondo. You know back when um, Korea was under Japanese rule, right? The uh, the Japanese, you know, basically, you know, shared karate with the Koreans and so forth. And so then Korea as a as a way of pulling their independence from Japan, from Japan, decided to modify the art and, and create, you know, back then it was harangdo and um, which was not, which is not the modern Taekwondo that you see now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's a breathing. It's really breathing because a lot of people don't breathe. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, no, no comment, you know, so, but people don't breathe. Yes. Yep. Good. All right, so there'll be a test on this next week. And then if you forget it, I, I, you get to wear a white belt for the rest of the rest of May in class. So. <laughs> no, I mean, this is a good to know. It's just fun. It's different. It's more complex than the the WT Pum says that you guys learn, right? Um, but spend time in these, right? This is this some of this technique is very valuable and useful in like self defense and things like that. So, this is one of three first degree black belt Pum says that you would learn if you're an ITF. One of three. So, all right. So what we'll do is, I know some of you guys have not learned any of the others. We will work on the color belt ones as well. All right, get you kind of caught up. So all right, if you ever have a question, Mr. Francisco knows them. Um, I, don't, I don't think Natalie. Natalie and Jason used to know them, but they haven't practiced, so they probably don't know them anymore. All right. Uh, Mr. Francisco Jr. knows them up to, um, up to red. So, so all right. All right, from here, face the flags, please. Chedot, Kuki Aide Kungnip. Turn and face me, please. Chedot, Sabanim Kay Kungnip. Undon Kut. Have a good night. We'll see you next week. Class dismissed. Good job, everyone. Okay.